हाई फ्रेंड्स गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम टू एस क्यू एल मास्टर यूट्यूब चैनल सो इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस विद यू इज अजाइल मैथडोलॉजी वॉट इज अजाइल मैथडोलॉजी इन ई टी एल टेस्टिंग सो इन ब्रीफ वी कैन गेट द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ अजाइल मैथडोलॉजी ह्यूर सो टिल नाउ इफ यू नॉट सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल काइंडली सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल एंड शेयर माई वीडियो एंड लाइक माई वीडियो दैट्स रियली अ ग्रेट मोटिवेशनल टू मी मेक more and more videos regarding this so let's open the ppt template what i made here so you can understand the things properly okay fine so this is what agile methodology i am going to discuss with you in this video so what is exactly the agile methodology okay so agile meaning is to make the whole big work in smaller parts okay so if you consider one big work is there big project is there so we divide all that project into smaller parts and work on them separately okay small small works we have to work on them separately but we need manpower also here so after working on those small parts we can combine those small parts as a one big project and that is what we get the meaningful result from that so this is what the meaning of agile so this uh, methodology is implementing in etl testing and this is very convenient pattern to get the perfect result so it is also a cost effective and if you want to make any rapid change it's very nice to make rapid changes in project and if you want if you forgotten already something in the project while in process so we can add all those uh, additional features in uh, smaller parts and later we can combine them so this is very customer satisfaction methodology okay so this is what the thing here so it has six phases okay so project initiation and sprint planning daily scrum sprint retrospective sprint demo and release so one by one we can go through those uh, project phases so here project phases project initiation so project owner falls in this category okay whatever the project owner so he falls in this category marketing person or you can call business analyst who can analyze the business and he only the person interact with client or stakeholder or customer so any customer or client want to give the project for some company so the project owner is the person who can contact the customer and make some project uh designs so collect requirements from the customer to start the project work so he can able to collect all the requirements from the customer and he knows the vision and about the project details and he only the per first person to know what is the vision if we make per, uh, project uh, in this passion what will be the vision how much quality it has so all, all these things will be knowing by the project initiation project owner okay so this is what second phase sprint planning sprint means nothing but a duration okay so if we get one project from client we have to plan for duration is it uh, take one month or two months in terms of weeks four weeks uh, six weeks eight weeks okay so we have to plan the uh, project duration that is nothing but sprint so you can see here it is a fixed duration for the project working is called sprint usually 1 to 4 weeks here product owner and team the whole team will get decide the sprint before the sprint uh, team conduct test plan okay so the team and the product owner can decide these sprint duration okay before sprint the team conduct some test plan discuss questions like wh questions like uh, how to do and uh, what to do when to do so the where to do so these all questions will be going to discuss in a meeting so that the team will get a perfect duration planning in this perfect duration we can complete this project so this is what the thing here and sprint depends on task level so some projects containing a complexity of task and some projects containing easy task so it depends on task level and can be changeable in future okay once we accept at the project and we plan for the sprint and we start working on that project if project goes some complexity so we can extend the 
sprint duration by conveying the client so because uh, this is the functionality of the project and this is somewhat it is very complex so we require uh, two more weeks one more week so we can convenience to the client and we can extend the sprint duration this is what the sprint planning so here daily scrum so what is exactly the daily scrum is daily scrum is the we have before starting work we have some discussion about half an hour so in that meeting we can whole team members can discuss uh, what actually we did yesterday and what we are going to do today means what is the exact progress of work so in work is there any obstacles if obstacles are present we can uh, convey to uh, those obstacle to scrum master so he is the person to uh, take care of all the obstacles and remove all obstacles by contacting other teams developer team and production team okay so he is the person who can resolve the obstacles so this is what the daily scrum so here we can uh, question to each other to get clarify all the situations to work more further then sprint demo so this is what the after project completion of project we can demo we can we will be going to give a demo to the client whoever client person we give with each and every functionality we, with clear explanation uh, so we can guide we can give the demo if he client is given some software development or he, he want to uh, he is given us a, a project related to application web application or uh, android application or whatever me that so we can uh, give demo based on that with clear crystal clear explanation now this is what called as sprint demo so after a sprint demo release will be there so after once it is satisfied by the uh, client so if additional features you want to add so then we can add again so then finally we are releasing that product to the client so once it is re released and that uh, and that time also the from client side the people are going to test the product okay if it is perfect or not so finally if he, any person find the bugs in client side also he can raise again bug so finally we can fix it and release it okay so this is what the last phase is called as release again this is having uh, still more some uh, important points so i can continue in my next video so till now you can watch completely and i hope you understood this concept agile methodology and one more methodology is there uh, earlier days we used uh, to waterfall method okay so i can uh, make one more video from that uh, what is exactly the waterfall method and what are the difference between agile methodology and waterfall methodology so but before that uh, for our next video i can make some more important points on agile methodology so this is very important uh, video important topic in uh, etl testing so kindly go through this and uh, if any doubts you have kindly contact me uh, in mes uh, commenting so i can resolve for that and thank you for watching we will meet in next video and uh, thanks a lot so i hope uh, we meet you in next video thank you bye bye take care